welcome back to my channel. So I am finally going to be doing the end of the year teacher tag from Darren. I will link his below. This has been on my to-do list for a while, so I decided to finally be able to sit down and do it today with the long Memorial Day weekend. I had a little bit more time. I am going to try to really fly through these questions because Tony and I have a day date. We're going to um, in like an arts and crafts festival along the river, so I'm really excited for that. But I figured before I go out and get all sweaty and gross from the day, I'll sit down and do this video. Dixie is kind of here with me today. She's a sleepy, sleepy baby. She was running around like crazy outside. So um, she's hiding over there in the pillows. But I know you guys love when Dixie's in some of the video stuff. So. Um, okay, I have the questions up on my phone. I'm just going to kind of like fly through them. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first question, what grade do you teach and how long have you taught at that grade? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm an art teacher. So I see kindergarten through sixth grade. I've been teaching kindergarten through sixth grade for three, five years. But I wasn't always at this school. This is my third year at my current school. I had two years uh, from pre grade pre-k to sixth grade and then before that I was sixth grade through 12th for only like a half a year. Question number two, what adjective best describes you as a teacher and why? Hmm. Uh, I mean the obvious I guess choice would be positive. I'm told I'm positive all the time. Um, I just try to have a positive outlook in my career and um, I also try to encourage that with my students too because with art a lot of times kids can get down on themselves if they're not um, artistically inclined and so I feel like I really push that um, with my students as well just to have a positive outlook and to keep on going. Question number three. If your life as a teacher was made into a movie, what movie star would play you? Uh, I think Darren said for me, what, who was it? Oh, Natalie Portman would be a good creative scribbles. I, can, I mean, I can kind of see that. Like, yeah, I also just love Jennifer Aniston. So either Jen Aniston or um, Natalie Portman would be fun. Question number four. Think of a lesson from this year that you're especially proud of. What made it so special? Um, I think just overall my whole theme this year I really enjoyed. I tried to do a theme to help with my engagement and also the kiddos and my theme was around the world. So that was successful. Um, there's a few lessons here and there that, you know, stand out. But aside from art, I think my the whole garden club at school this year has been very successful because we were able to get our garden beds um, built and set up and now we have things growing in there. So that to me is what stands out as not necessarily like a lesson, but um, it's, it's something very successful from this year. Number five, tell us about a student that you think you'll likely remember forever. Um, currently there is a kindergartner who just absolutely stands out. Um, it's just one of those kiddos you just want to squeeze and hug and hold on to forever. Like, he's just a sweetheart, um, and he's come such a long way from when he walked into those doors um, in the fall. Like, it's crazy the um, growth that he has had. So, he really stands out to me. And then there's also some older students who just, you know, you have kind of like a connection with that I'll remember forever, too. Number six. At this point in the year, how do you feel about the teaching profession? <laughs> Hard. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, it's the end of the year and burnout. So <laughs> ask me in the fall and I'll probably think a little differently. But no, I... I mean, yes, it's hard, but it's also rewarding. You know, anyone you talk to is going to say that. Um, I can't see myself doing anything else. Like, I know that I was born to teach. It's just, it's in me. Um, I mean, I the teaching profession, I think we need more happy, positive, excited teachers um, in our schools. That's what I think. <laughs> Number seven, how do you keep your job fun and engaging no matter how long you've been teaching? Well, I'm still a fairly young teacher. I've been teaching, what, five and a half years, five years, something like that. Um, but I mean, every teacher, you're going to have your highs and your lows. So how do I keep my job fun and engaging? Um, Honestly, social media, teacher tubers, like that whole community, Instagram, like 
that keeps me really motivated, which is very um, surprising. I didn't, you know, go into it um, thinking that would happen, but you see all these amazing ideas and you see all these teachers just passionate and excited about it. And so it gets you passionate and excited about it. Um, also, I think switching things up, switching your room up, trying new lessons, um, like I said, doing my theme, that helps me stay engaged too. Um, and then also kind of just like trying to brush off the bad days too to stay fun and engaging like not letting certain things get you down i think helps as well number eight what has surprised you the most since the school year has started um surprised me the most how many amazing teachers i have met on this platform and also instagram like like I said before, I did not go in expecting that, but I have made genuine friendships, and um, it's it's been a great experience. So that has a, has surprised me. Um, and then at school, like specifically, what has surprised me? Honestly, the behaviors this year have been pretty tough, and that was unfortunate. So that surprised me a little bit too. But um, yeah, I guess that's it. Number nine. Social media. Who are your favorite teacher tubers, teacher grammars, teacher tweeters? Uh, well, I don't tweet. I used to. Like, my school had an account, and so I made one to be a part of that, um, and I hated it. <laughs> and, um, I mean, for Miss Creative Scribbles, like, I don't really have... I think I have an account, but I've, like, never used it. And then for Instagram, I am on Instagram, and I use it a lot. I miss that Creative Scribbles, so you can check me out on that. And then teacher tubers, of course, I'm on here, and I have a lot of favorites um, of teacher tubers. So let's see. Uh, the social speechy, Jess, we have really gotten to know each other really well. Um, we clicked really quickly, and she's just honestly a really sweet, genuine friend that I have formed through these platforms, which is really cool. You can just tell the people who you would honestly get along with in real life and have a real, well, not that it's not a real friendship, but a real like in-person friendship with. Also Vanessa from My Second Grade Life. I love watching her and her vlogs and her dogs and she's another one that I can tell like I would just get along with um, in person. And then another one is Mora from Kind Kindergarten and Janice from One Happy Teacher. These are just the vlogs when they pop up I'm like ooh I want to watch that because um, I just really enjoy them and like I said it's like people who I can tell I would get along with um, if they were living in my same town. Number 10, who would your dream teacher collaboration be with? Um, honestly, anybody who I just mentioned. Like, I feel like they're all genuine, really fun, really sweet people, and I would love to collab with any of them, really. Number 11, what is the last thing you took a picture of? Show us. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay, so um, every year, uh, my committee puts together a video for sixth grade um, for them to watch as at their like award ceremony the last day of school and it's just filled with positive message from teachers so every teacher gets a quote they take a picture with it and we put it together into a video to show them so the last picture on my phone is my picture for that video um, I took my letter board that says make your mark and I just held it and took a picture of it so it's a selfie <laughs> Okay, question number 12. Sing, sing the last song you listened to. I am not singing on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I will lip sync, let me get the song. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know what it's called. It was on this morning as I was getting ready. Uh, okay, so it is Yeah Boy by Kelsey Ballerini. I will try to play it on my phone so you guys can hear it, but I'm sorry, I'm not singing. <laughs> I'm just not. Yeah. I'm a pro lip singer. I just can't sing. Plus, also, I'm the type of person who I make up my own lyrics all the time, like by accident. So you just you really don't want me to sing. Okay, number thirteen. Complete this sentence. If I weren't a teacher, I'd be. I would be a vet. Except I'm not very good at science, so I don't know if that's realistic. But honestly, like, I would just love to be a vet. Um, if I couldn't hack science. <laughs> um, I think I would love to be an event planner. I'm so detail oriented. I think of every little possible thing um, when it comes to events and um, yeah, I would love to be an event planner. 
Number 14. Who is your teaching hero? Tell them one thing that you really appreciate about them. Um, there's a few teachers that come to mind. Um, professors even and then also like I know my high school art teacher really helped me in my journey to becoming an art teacher um, but honestly I'm gonna get sappy and I'm gonna say my parents are my absolute favorite it was a favorite teacher or who's your t oh, teaching hero um, so yeah I definitely think you know that's your ultimate teacher is your parents and um, I just I've appreciated everything they've done for me but also they just made me the person who I am today. I feel like that's where I get my positivity. That's where I get my appreciation for nature, my um, uh, ability to be like a kid at heart, which makes me a good teacher, and just my caring personality. So um, I just had to be a good person, basically. Like that is what um, my parents have taught me overall. And yeah, of course I appreciate them, but they're definitely my teaching hero. All right, guys, that wraps up the end of the year teacher tag. Thank you so much, Darren, for making this. I am not even going to try to say your last name because I know I'm going to butcher it. I'm so bad at that stuff. Um, but I really appreciate you making this tag. And if you guys have not already done this tag, go ahead and do it. And I can always link yours below as well. Um, I just I love this teacher community. It's so fun. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. You can also like and comment on this video. I will catch you guys in my next video. See ya. Yeah, boy, saying you what you're doing, yeah, boy. I'm trying to keep it cool, but you're making it hard. I'm washing your arms, grab me a towel.